Hi there. Today, I'm going to explain to you real quick a little mathematical problem to understand more about waves and oscillations in physics. This problem is about mechanical waves and sound, specifically superposition of wave pulses and amplitude. First, let's read the problem. Scenario. A pair of pulses travels toward each other at equal speeds. The composite wave forms as they pass through each other and interfere or show at one second intervals. Using representations, sketch a construction for the two wave pulses in each column. Each pulse travels at one square per second. So now we have three scenarios that I, I have solved. The first one are the two triangular wave pulses that are moving uh, to each other on this same side, they're both on top of the line. In the second scenario, this time, the wave pulls from the right that is moving towards the left is on the bottom line of the wave. And in the final one, both waves change of shape. This time, we have on the left, moving towards the right, a ladder-shaped, per se, wave. And at the right, moving towards the left, we have a square-shaped wave. When we move these waves per one square throughout the exercise, we can understand how the waves move with each other and how they start changing. Later in the problem, it asks us argumentation. Rectangular transverse wave pulses are traveling toward each other along a string. The grids shown in the background are identical, and the pulses vary in height and length. The pulses will meet and interact soon after they are in the position shown. So, after we practiced what we did, we now have four new scenarios that you can see in the picture. It says, Rank the maximum amplitude of the string at the instant the positions of the centers of the two pulses overlap include smaller than, greater than, or equal than symbols to clarify your ranking. Then you show us as how to organize the greatest amplitude to the least amplitude. So after organizing the wave pulses in the previous exercise, we can understand how they change and how we take amplitude as an absolute value throughout their overlappings. So in this case, the answer to this problem would be A greater than B greater than C and greater than D. Because amplitude is measured upwards and tallest waves come from problem A. C is greater than D because amplitude is considered as an absolute value, making negative 1 greater than 0. As we can conclude from this short review of this wave's problem, Waves change when being overlapped on the same pose direction. They either stabilize, turning into zero, or they make one greater than the other one when the base of it is different, as we saw in the last problem. Thank you very much for your attention.